Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so this video talks about the network quality, the Wi-Fi signal that's coming into your Fire TV stick and how to interpret these figures here to try and get yourself a better signal. What do they mean? So let's rewind a bit. I'm going to press the home key on the remote control. Now, a few days ago, I showed you that uh, the Fire TV sticks or some of the Fire TV sticks have got this brand new a utility on them built into the network to help diagnose network features. So all you do is you just press the home button on the remote control to go back to the main menu and then go across there to the cog, down and across to network middle button. Select the network that you're connected to and press the play pause button on the remote and you get this great screen here. So this tells us that we're connected to the Wi-Fi, gives us a signal strength meter there, tells us we're connected to the internet and gives us a network download speed. Now, if we want to update that network download speed, just go across to run speed test, highlight that middle button on the remote control and it will run a speed test. Now, unfortunately, um, due to open reaches, copper and uh, aluminium cables around here, I don't get a very good download speed anyway. So I'm not expecting much on here so uh, that's just running through a test as we speak there we go 22.27 as i say thanks open reach okay so let's go across to advance there middle button on the remote control and uh, let's have a look at these network quality settings just here those are important to us so first of all we've got signal strength this measures the signal strength in decibels now basically the closest this number is to zero, the stronger the signal is going to be. So as you can see here, the signal strength there says high. So minus 27 decibels, there you go. That's a high signal strength. Now, as I said, the closest to zero, the higher that is. But I don't think you're ever going to get zero on there. Don't be fooling yourself into thinking, yeah, I want to try and get my signal strength at zero or a one, two, three, or four. I don't think you're ever gonna get that. I mean, my fire stick is right on top of my Wi-Fi access point, and even I'm not getting that. So, but like I say, general rule of thumb is the closest you can get that to zero, the better. Now, as you can see here, minus 26, 27 decibels or DBM is a good high signal strength. If this was minus 57, then that would probably be a medium. And if it was over sort of 70 decibels, then you'd probably talk in that is a low signal strength. Now, the next thing here is the noise. And as you can see there, it's showing low. Now, this is a good thing because this is the noise that is on the airwaves at the moment. This could be interference. So as long as that says low, we're fine. Now, anything can induce noise. Electrical equipment can induce noise, especially things with motors in, radio interference, i.e. a television or radio transmitter, or even a mobile phone transmitter. There's always noise in the air. There's always things that are gonna, gonna, gonna sort of knock the signal down. But as you can see in my area, the noise is pretty low. And again, this figure here, the, the closer it is to zero, the more noise you're gonna have. So obviously the higher the figure, the less noise, the better. So as you can see, mine's minus 87 decibels. That's the amount of noise that's being measured. So the amount of noise is very, very low. The channel use section here, this tells us that uh, how many other Wi-Fi networks are on the same channel as me. Well, I'm on channel 36 there. And again, channel use is low there's only sort of 5%, it's only 5% taken up on that channel. If I found that channel use was medium or high, then what I could do is I could go into my Wi-Fi access point. You'd have to refer to your router or Wi-Fi manufacturer there, and uh, you could change the channel there from on the, on the Wi-Fi. Now that's done, like I say, from the router or the Wi-Fi access point to another channel and see if that is any better. The other uh, setting here is signal to noise ratio. Now, signal to noise ratio, that tells us the amount of signal there is in comparison to noise. 
So mine is, is high. So it's taking these two figures here, signal and noise, and basically comparing them between signal and noise. And as you can see there, it should, should work out like mine is. It's basically this figure here is the amount of noise less the amount of signal. And as you can see, my noise is 87, my, uh, minus 87, my signal strength is minus 27. So the difference between the two is 60. So, and it's showing high there. So it means the amount of signal compared to noise is high. Now, if the this was uh, medium or low, it would mean there's a lot of noise in the local area. So it could be something like a, a refrigerator might be nearby, a microwave, something with a motor in it, you know, could be causing problems. Um, it could be that you live near a, a mobile phone mast or a radio transmitter, which again could be causing interference. Um, so if you do find you've got a lot of noise, then you might have to consider try moving your router or Wi-Fi access point closer to the fire stick. If your router or Wi-Fi access point is right on top of the fire stick, this could actually be causing noise. Sometimes having it too close can cause too much interference, i.e. noise on there. So it might even be worth moving it away from the router because like I say, that at times can cause problems in itself. So the other sort of things that are on here, we've got here the network type, which is Wi-Fi. Yeah, the network name, this is the name of our Wi-Fi network. As I say earlier, the channel that was on, it even tells us the frequency that that channel is on. So channel 36 is on 5,180 megahertz. Gives us MAC address and the BSSID, the IPv4 address and the new IPv6 address. Going further down gives us our gateway address. I think that might be a bug in there because that I don't think is correct, that gateway address. But then saying that, I've got little experience with IPv6, so it could be the IPv6 gateway address. And we've got the DNS address there, the, the, the uh, domain name server. We've also got captive portal, no metered, no, so it's not a metered connection. And over here, we've got the network data usage that so tells us what we've used today, this week, this month, if we had it recording, and the previous month. If you want to configure the network data usage, you need to go into configure data monitoring there and uh, turn that on just there. So there we are, a great new advanced status panel here, which gives us lots of useful information about our Wi-Fi network and network quality as well to help us find the best place for our wi-fi access point and our fire tv stick don't forget whilst you're here i've got thousands of other videos on my channel have a look around i'm sure you're going to find something else on here to amuse you to entertain you or to educate you I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.